welcome back to In Her Rubber Boots. If you're new, my name is Katrina, and today I'm going to be taking you along for some farm chores and things around the farm. It's always busy here, there's always things to do, and there's always new little cute baby animals. So I'm going to show you those things, I'm going to give you an update on the garden, and see what happens today. So I do need to give you a tour of my garden, but the weeds are like growing like weeds. <laughs> so before I do that, I'm actually just going to do a bit of weeding so it doesn't look quite as bad as it is now. But there's some lettuce, it's looking good. Some carrots, some onions, one of my larger tomato plants. To be honest, I can't remember what this is. I would have to look it up. But there's something growing there. Um, this over here is my cucumber. Some more beans over here. Um, some eggplant, tomato in a cage to try and protect it. Oh yeah, and some peppers. I actually can, can see there's actually a pepper growing there. So that's working out, which is nice. Peas over here. Some more beans along that last row. And some of my squash plants. They're coming along really nicely. This doesn't look very nice right now, but this is my pool set up for my little guy. Got to work with what I've got. So this is an area that I can at least get the hose to. I gotta show you guys these cute little baby chicks. So this morning I came down to feed my chickens and I opened up this cage and there was a whole bunch of chicks running around. Um, I knew that they were sitting on eggs, but these silky hens, they sit on eggs all the time. Um, so I wasn't keeping track exactly of when they started sitting on these eggs. And so I didn't realize that there was gonna be chicks hatched quite this soon. And so it was a really awesome surprise to find all of these chicks. Tell me I'm not alone, but does anyone else hate having a cluttered table? Like, I just want the table to be clear so that when I make some, you know, dinner or whatever, I can just put it on the table. And it is, like, always the place in the house where everything collects. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm just as guilty of it myself, but it also drives me crazy. So, I'm going to tidy up a little so that we can actually eat from this table. quick and easy for lunch so we are having toasted sandwiches with tomato cheese and turkey on them so I put the tomato in the middle and then the turkey on top so in theory these sandwiches should not get mushy so I've made a salad on the side just so that I can tell myself it is a healthy, balanced dinner. And this is what the sandwiches look like. I keep down to check on the uh, new little chickies. And there was one that was like making a really sort of like the sound that they make when they're in distress. And I couldn't find it. I kept looking everywhere and I'm like, where is this chick? And so eventually I realized it was actually stuck to the hen. So I don't know, I guess it had some egg yolk or something on it, I don't know. And so it was stuck to the hen, so I had to chase the hen around to catch the hen and get the chick off. And then of course when that happened, there was a bunch of chicks that escaped, and so it was a bit of chaos. I didn't grab the camera just because um, I wanted to rescue that chick and not leave it for any longer, but that was what just happened. So I apologize, it is now the next day. <laughs> so this will be a two day vlog, um, but Yesterday just got super busy and I just didn't pick up the camera again. So today I'm going to try and show you a little more of what it's like to be a farmer's wife. Um, I am working part time so this is when I'm at home. Um, but yeah, this is sort of the day to day of how life on average goes though. I mean every day is very different. So it is haying season, um, so they have cut the grass and then made it into round bales and then put those on wagons and brought it over to this machine here that wraps it in plastic and then those there will be used in the winter time. So I'm just working on making some lunch, I'm cooking up some steak, asparagus and mashed potatoes. Um, normally my husband does come home for lunch and then, you know, maybe goes back to the barn or we might hang out for a little bit. Uh, but of course today, the day that I cook something nicer, uh, would be the day that he tells me that the skid steer is not working properly and asks if I can bring the food to the barn. Which is fine, but it's not the easiest meal to bring. So now I just gotta figure out 
how to package it up and what to bring along for the little one so that he can also have his lunch while we're there. You're so close to walking. You can do it! Is today going to be the day? So earlier today, I went grocery shopping with him and this Tylenol over here was sitting with my groceries and that little stinker had hidden it between these baskets over here. As if I don't already have enough trouble trying to keep track of where things are, then the little one's hiding things on me. I'm like, you're only a year old. How are you already hiding things? Well, this guy will be super happy that we're headed over to the barn because he likes to see the cows. Do you like seeing the cows? What does a cow say? What does a cow say? Uh, you just like that box. So I decided just to wrap it in tin foil and just carry it the best I could and bring along some mashed potatoes and applesauce for the little guy. Luckily I had just been to the store, so I also had dessert to bring, which was nice. Though it was a very hot day, um, the office in the barn was pretty cool, so we just sat in the barn and had our lunch in the office, and then of course a trip to see Dad wouldn't be complete without a little playing time, and he thought this chair was quite entertaining. On a summer day, this might be the only time we get to spend with him, so it's good for us to be able to at least hang out for a few minutes and for Levi to be able to play with his dad. It's so fun when they're at this age and literally everything is entertaining. So even playing with a brush for cleaning bottles is something fun. Of course, no visit to the barn will be complete without a trip to see the cows. Levi is obsessed with the cows. He... I know he was born on a farm and so, you know, of course he likes cows, but out of all of the animals, the cows are definitely his favorite. In some ways, I feel like I should title this video Cooking Clean With Me because the reality is a day in the life of a working farm wife um, is I cook clean and run after a little baby when I'm not working. So now I'm going to clean up this disaster of a kitchen. I always feel like when I show this or when I look at my kitchen, I think, oh my gosh, it looks like I haven't cleaned anything in like a couple of days. And in reality, this is an ongoing process and I've cleaned already this morning. I really don't mind cooking. It's the cleanup afterwards that I don't like. So as you when you make a nice meal and then there's like a whole pile of dishes, you're like, the meal was gone in five minutes and now I've got an hour left of cleanup. It's not my favorite. Of course, while I'm cleaning the kitchen, this guy is also doing goodness knows what. Um, so this doesn't really help my cleaning when he's making a mess faster than I'm cleaning up. the countertops and dishes and that sort of thing is clean. I still have to put the dishes away, but it's a start. So at the moment it's all about things that open and close. He loves cupboard doors and this box he treats like a cupboard. Though it's a little frustrating because he can't seem to get the order correct or get the flaps to stay up or down when he wants them to. Well, it is now evening and it's time to do evening chores. So I'm just filling up buckets of water to take out to the animals and then I'm going to start collecting their feed and go around and feed the animals. So I'll take you guys along so you can see some of what I do. So I unfortunately don't have a uh, tap outside. So if I hook up a hose, it has to be hooked up to the bathroom sink, which is a pain. So I only do that when I really need to water the garden. For the rest, I just fill up buckets like this and carry them out to the animals. So at the moment, I have a lot of different animals. I have baby animals, I have big animals. So I have about maybe seven different kinds of feed um, and a lot of it looks the same. So I have to be really careful about um, keeping them separate and knowing where the feed is going. So I've got the water set here. Hopefully that's enough for the animals for tonight. We will find out. Hi, Junior. How's it going? Are you keeping an eye on the animals? Who should we feed first? The chickies? The turkeys? The ducks? There's so many animals. How do we decide? 
How about we start on one end of the yard? So round one, I'm going to feed the ducks, one of the pigs, and the chicks. So starting with the ducks. I see they still have some corn left. That's all right, I'll give them some more. And we'll have to get them water next. Piggy, piggy. I'll just throw hers on the ground because they like to root around so that doesn't bother her. Tail's a wagon, so she's happy. I don't know if you guys recognize this group from the last vlog, but they were just tiny little chicks then and now they're big. All right, more animals to take care of. multiple cages that are on the grass that can be moved around so that the animals can like get new grass every day. So I also move those at least once, sometimes twice a day. if you guys saw that but the turkeys like to peck my fingers while I move it they seem to think it's a worm or something but uh, the tricky part is actually to move the ones that don't have bottoms on them because I don't want to get their feet caught or anything but you guys might like to see my poofy little chickens hey don't peck me pretty cute looking they're trying to escape excuse me they can't see much so so all of the feathers are covering their eyes so one of the things that I also have to keep an eye on is the amount of feed that I have. Um, the feed gets delivered to the main barn and then my husband so graciously brings it uh, bag by bag as I need it over to the old farm here where we live. So I see that I am almost out of rabbit food. I've got a lot of litters right now and so they're plowing through that food. So I gotta send my husband a text and ask him to bring me some rabbit feed tonight. And it's always tricky to carry everything. I like to use some of the same size containers, so I will stack them inside of each other. And if I put my camera down for a minute, I should be able to carry all of those. So I've just gotten over here to feed the uh, chicks, but I'm noticing that there's one that has gotten out. So I do need to touch this chick. I don't know if you can see it in the grass here. So I'm not sure how it got out exactly. But I do need to grab it. Mama is freaking out. It thinks it can fit through the bars and I don't want it to hurt it. It's very cute. I thought I had blocked off the hole that they were getting out, but clearly I didn't do a good enough job. I have to watch it because mama hens, they get a little uh, protective. <laughs> to say the least. I don't even know how many there is now. They're really hard to count. I, th I think there's 11. eggs. Um, my hens have started eating their eggs which is such a pain. Um, I've tried a lot of things to get them to stop but so far it just seems that collecting the eggs on a regular basis is the best way so I'm just going to check to see if I have any right now. It well, looks like there's some in there. So they had bedding like straw and stuff and they just like scrape it all out. So it is what it is. There we go, five eggs. Um, when I go and wash them up, I will be able to tell if they are all good or if they've actually pecked them and they're cracked. 
I try to every day pick some fresh greens for the chickens and the rabbits and stuff, and boy do they love it. This is Warrior. He's one of my purebred Holland Lops, and he thinks that this is probably the best part of the day. And this is Snowdrop. She is a new girl who also loves dandelions. It's been so unbelievably hot the last few days, and the trailer just, it gets hotter and hotter in there. We do have a, like a one unit um, that we have running, and it does help. It makes it like bearable in the living room. Um, but it's pretty warm in there right now. I think it's about 84. And so we're just hanging out outside because it's much nicer outside than it is inside. And I am attempting to breed a rabbit. Um, sometimes they're interested and sometimes they're not. And this one, it's not going that well. Unfortunately, the bugs are really bad out tonight, so um, it's not quite as enjoyable to be sitting around, but I think we're going to go for a walk and just go and say hi to the cows. Uh, Levi really likes doing that, and hopefully if we're moving, the bugs won't be eating us. What are we going to see? We are visiting the cows. This little guy is going to have broccoli ground up because otherwise he won't eat it and cottage cheese mixed together. If you'd like to see more of what my toddler eats in a day, I actually have a video coming out on Friday of what he eats in a day. This weather does not make me hungry so I don't know exactly what um, I'm gonna make for supper or if I'm gonna make anything I might just have some snacky foods um, Maybe some cottage cheese myself and some fruit and veggies or something like that um, And then when my husband comes home, he might have to make himself a burger or something So it's now nine o'clock and I need to tidy this house up and try and get organized because I need to leave for work tomorrow before 630 and I've got to drop off my little guy at grandma's house so it's going to be an early morning and a busy day and I have a lot of things that I still need to do tonight. So hopefully my husband gets back soon. Um, 9 o'clock is early if he gets back. Uh, he tends to get back like 9, 30, 10. So I'm hoping that I'll still get to see him because I don't want to stay up too late if I have to get up really early. Do you take that off the shelf? I'm wondering where the cereal went tomorrow for breakfast, and I guess I will look in the bedroom. Well guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. It is about quarter to ten. My husband is not home from the barn yet, and we're going to start getting ready for bed. So if you did enjoy this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!